All right, hi people, it's Shakespeare, and I'm here to do an unboxing for you guys today of the Beatles Get Back documentary uh, mini series. Technically, um, it's like three a three episodes that are like two hours long at least, made by Peter Jackson, recutting pretty much all the footage that they shot back in 1969 during the recording of what would of what was supposed to be Get Back and then became, eventually, Let It Be, after they did Abbey Road. Uh, they took some of the songs that they were working with, and then I think finished others. Um, so, yeah. Originally, this was supposed to be a theatrical movie, uh, which ended up being the original Let It Be documentary film. Um, and that was supposed to get a remaster and re-release, but hasn't happened yet. I don't know why. That was announced, like... I want to say back in 2018, maybe 2019, um, for the 50th anniversary of the Let It Be um, uh, album and original documentary. But the original documentary hasn't gotten a remaster. No idea why. Even if this is a superior version, I would still like to see the original version remastered. Uh, Paul McCartney is fully on board with doing it. I'm pretty sure Ring, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure Ringo Starr would be. I'm pretty sure the estates of George Harrison and John Lennon would be. I don't know. Just the way that like Apple likes to have the Beatles presented as right, rather than like as they were and as things happened. More so, they'd like to have this sort of family friendly, I guess, kind of image for the Beatles. But the Beatles weren't entirely family friendly, even though first half of the 60s, that's how they were presented, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so they recut, so Peter Jackson took the original footage that was an audio that was recorded back in 1969 of like tens of hours of recordings and um, recut it uh, into this. It was originally supposed to be, I believe, just one like kind of super long documentary, but with COVID and delays and everything, he was given the opportunity by Apple Core and I think Disney to recut more stuff. So he decided to make it a three episode miniseries, which is pretty cool. I do like that we got more stuff um, out of this project. So, yeah. And he even had some new, like, AI tech made, like, software made for this, where. Um, they were able to separate out, like, different bits of audio to get more clear versions of stuff that was said or was recorded to separate it out for a proper, like, thing, which they then used on Revolver. I'm hoping that they're going to use it on the other earlier Beatles material because, well, the Beatles albums, the earliest albums especially, need a remix. They desperately do, especially Please Please Me and Without the Beat or with the Beatles. I very hopefully or I very much hope that those two albums will get remixes, because holy shit, the stereo versions on CD and digital platforms are terrible for those. Left channel is the fucking is the uh the voices for some reason. Right is the uh instruments. I don't get that whatsoever, but yeah. Um I'm just hoping that they'll do those. So, yeah. With the fact that they've done Revolver, I'm hoping that they're, they're going to go, like, backwards, I guess. First with Rubber Soul, then, uh, I think it's Beatles for Sale, then, um, A Hard Day's Night, then With the Beatles, then Please Please Me. And then maybe they're singles, but yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I was very much looking forward to this. I watched this back when it came out on Disney+. Plus. Really good. Recommend it if you like the Beatles and you like documentaries. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, here we go. Rant over. Sorry. Um, with the front. It says, Blu-ray collector set. The complete three-part documentary event. Nearly eight hours of content. Fully restored picture and incredible Dolby Atmos sound. The picture for this, the remastered footage... A lot of it isn't that good, unfortunately, because of how they DNR'd it to shit. Um, because of the fact that it's... It was, at the time, like, 50-year-old footage, 16mm film, wasn't, I guess, kept in the best shape, um, or the best storage. Yeah, I get why they did the, uh, the color correction like they did. The color correction, I think, is fine. What I don't like, though, is this... 
the, the hyper, hyper, like, um, smoothing out of all the details and everything. I hate that. So, yeah, it's kind of like the Dragon Ball Z Orange Brick or Season Set Blu-rays, but for live action. So, yeah, not necessarily that badly done, but still bad. So, yeah, I've complained about that since the previews for those came out and people were doing side-by-side -side comparisons with the raw footage or older version of the footage and uh, the new version. But, yeah. So, yeah. And special collect or special packaging includes collector's cards. So, yeah. So, we got the front right here with the older versions of the Beatles and then the younger versions of them from... Uh, the original Please Please Me album cover. This was originally supposed to be, um, or at least them, the older versions of them were supposed to be for the Get Back, um, like, album that they intended to release. That's why they took it. But because of how things went throughout 1969 and then 1970, they ended up, uh, scrapping a lot of things that they had planned and changing plans and everything. Um, and then what ended up happening is they used, I, I can't remember, if, I think they used the Please Please Me photo or a version of it, or maybe a different take of it, for the Red album, the, like, Greatest Hits compilation album, and then they used the Get Back photo for the Blue album, but now they used it for this, which is fine, um, but yeah, there's a whole, like, story of just let it be and how it evolved from get back and then its reception as time has gone on and then remixes and all this stuff that I could go into detail with but yeah so on the back of this top thing right here bottom of the top says the Beatles get back on the back description of the set and what's on it and then it shows you what's in it it says three disc set includes Part one, the band gathers at Twickenham uh, Film Studios to rehearse for a concert. Part two, rehearsals continue at Abbey or at Apple Studios, and the mood lifts. Part three, the Beatles perform on the roof of Apple offices, and I love how the um, the uh, concert is presented pretty uncut, um, with multiple like takes of the songs and then that they performed and then multiple different camera angles spliced together and then multiple angles shown at the same time. I like the way that Peter Jackson cut that. For some reason, it's only on digital platforms, but you can listen to the uncut audio for that, which was nice, or which is nice. Blu-ray, 1080p HD, widescreen, 1.85 by 1. The, uh, the video is also cropped. It was shot in 4x3 because that's what you, that's all you could do with 16 by 9 or with a 60 millimeter uh, film, but they cropped it to 60 mi yeah, 60 by nine. Thankfully though, it's, you don't lose anything important because they selectively cropped it, but still, um, English Dolby Atmos 7.1, PCM uh, 2.0, PCM and 2.0 descriptive audio, language tracks, English SDH, Spanish and French subtitles. So yeah, it's region free. This was released by Disney, but yeah, um, so that makes sense why it's that. 2022 Blu-ray release. So, yeah. So, back to this. It's very... This this case is very similar to the A Hard Day's Night um, Blu-ray and eventual 4K release. Uh, I have an unboxing of that if you want to see that, but yeah. And kind of a help. So, yeah, it's pretty consistent. Um, we also get back. We also get back. Uh, bottom. Surprised that there's no, like things for Disney on here. And then we got the nice shot of the Beatles from the back on top of the Apple Corps rooftop from when they obviously shot it. And, uh, yeah, it says Beatles get back. This is the cover that they use for the digital release of that. So, yeah. So here we go with the inside thing. It says the Beatles right here. I'm supposed, I think this is the front. And then it just shows them at Twickenham Studios. It's a screenshot, obviously, in black and white. And it says Get Back right there. Yeah. And you have pictures of all four Beatles right there. Uh, kind of reminiscent of the Let It Be album's cover. Screenshots um, from the 
series. So, yeah, and I don't really like this. This is kind of a digibook release, but it looks like, yeah, it looks like they applied a thing to smooth it out, so it's not as bad. But you got the disc for part one, which is nice. Again, more screen grabs. Um, the disc for part two. Um, and then, uh, ah. that's not good. Okay, thankfully the disc isn't scratched up as far as I can tell. So then the disc for part three, which is nice. Um, kind of wish one of the uh, special features was just the rooftop concert just by itself, even with the multiple takes and everything of the songs. So you got the calendar for that. So basically, they wanted to make it into a film, I think a documentary film, or no, they wanted to do a TV special or a TV miniseries. Then they changed it to a film, um, and yeah. So what they were trying to do was get out of a film contract, or trying to fulfill the last bit of a film contract that they were in with, I think, United Artists back in the 1960s, because they did, they signed that agreement, and it became, and it, it, what it eventually came from, it was A Hard Day's Night, then Help, um, I think Magical Mystery Tour was a part of that, they tried to get out of it again, or they tried to get out of it prior with, uh, Yellow Submarine, but because the Beatles didn't voice themselves in that movie, uh, it was just some voice actors and recordings of the Beatles songs that didn't fulfill the contract, so they did this instead, and that got them out of their contract, because I think it was supposed to be, like, four films, even though, you know, Magical Mystery Tour was a TV movie, but whatever, I guess that counted. So here we go with some, uh, nice photos of the Beatles, so you got John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison. So, yeah, that's nice. But yeah, as you can tell, I'm a pretty big Beatles fan, so I know a lot of these details. So yeah, I've been wanting this for a while, so it's nice to have it. So, yeah, I got it from Disney Movie Club, so it's on there if you want to get it. Especially if you have the deal to get 60% um, off the rest of the order if you order one thing. So, yeah. So, really not much else to say, so link the description on my shit, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one.